Launch Freefall Rides are one of the rides in Roller Coaster Tycoon which have multiple operating modes. Your choices are Upwards Launch or Downwards Launch. The Upwards Launch has a launch speed option which is modifiable to make sure that the ride doesn't crash off the top, whilst Downwards Launch causes the ride to ascend slowly to the top and then fall back down towards the station. But which is better? To further clarify the criteria for this test, I set a parameter. I started building the ride as low as possible without it crashing, and then incrementally worked up to a height and launch speed that yielded a red rating which negatively affected the excitement rating. The upwards launch rides ranged from 50 feet and escalated to 210 feet, which eventually gained a red rating. It seems that there were no defined sequence to the intensity and nausea rating, and the main issue was that this type of ride is that it only measures altitude and speed. The excitement rating gradually climbed from 3.25 to 3.72 before a red rating knocked it down to 2.82. One of the only issues with the downwards launch rides was that the car was programmed to do a secondary bounce when reaching the bottom. This meant that rides under 17 feet would crash. However, an unexpected pattern emerged, possibly due to the constant climbing speed affecting the overall average. Intensity and nausea ratings seem to stay at exactly the same level, irregardless of ride time and ride height. This meant that the excitement rating was free to climb based on the increasing ride height. Even at 210 feet, where the upwards launch rides received their first red ratings, it maintained. Following this up, I built a downwards launch ride to the height limit of 590 feet. To put that into perspective for you, this ride is only 40 feet shorter than the Gateway Arch in St. Louis, Missouri. This yielded the same intensity and nausea ratings as before, however it also gained 5.08 excitement. This got me thinking about rotodrops versus the downwards launch on the launch freefalls. Roto drop ride intensity and nausea ratings seem to rise in unison, while excitement ratings were again free to climb. However, unlike downwards launch, roto drop rides of 180 feet and higher received red ratings. While some of the excitement ratings for roto drop rides were higher than downwards launch, the higher intensity ratings could be considered overall negative. So, in conclusion, the downwards launch on launch freefall rides is bugged, and we should exploit it. And if you were to disable support limits, I dread to think what excitement rating you could achieve.